Hey guys! So this video is going to be a tag video called Makeup Beginnings and I was tagged by a YouTuber called uh, All About Daniel and I'll link his YouTube channel on in the information box below, check him out. He does a lot of product reviews, a lot of rants, so I'll start with the first question. What made you get into makeup slash cosmetics? You know, YouTube is a really big influence in why I use makeup. Um, I don't go all crazy wearing the eyeliner, the eyeshadow, you know, brow powder. Um, mainly it's because in college I had a really bad, um, I guess, experience with acne and I still kind of do now but it's not as bad as what it was in college um, and with acne comes acne scarring and you know a lot of insecurities come with you know just having scarring in your face and feeling like you're not handsome enough or pretty enough so um, I turned to you know YouTube after seeing I think it Candy Johnson or even Michelle Phan about um, you know how to conceal your your uh, acne scarring so um, that's my, I guess, foundation of what, how I got into makeup in the first place. Second question, you go to your makeup brand, your go-to makeup brand and products when first wearing makeup. When first wearing makeup. Um, I went kind of a little bit, you know, just drugstore, just to try it out. I think one video that I saw from Michelle Phan was, you know, the men's uh, natural makeup just to kind of enhance her features and she used, I think, some CoverGirl um, concealer stick with, you know, the Burt's Bee lip balm and really simple like that. Didn't, you know, I didn't go get into, you know, tinted moisturizer like I do today or anything else. It was basically just the concealer stick just to conceal your, your acne scarring. Three, when first wearing makeup, what is the biggest makeup mistake? Okay, so this is kind of funny because back in college, um, Maybe I should just. I was in Crystal's house back in college, and we were, you know, you know, just like hanging out, and I wanted to take a picture with her, so I just, you know, lathered on whatever powder she had, and she's a lot lighter than me. Well, back then she was a lot lighter than me, but the powder was too, 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 too light. And then when you take a picture, I just look crazy with like a white face and like tan neck and tan body she had to photoshop that picture and I'm gonna try to find that picture because and I'll you know try to put it as an overlay but you know she she photoshopped it pretty well but the initial picture was like ghostly like a little bit disturbing so um what you want to do is you want to match your neck to the rest of your face and uh, I figured that figured that out the funny way by like taking a picture and then knowing that she had to <laughs> photoshop that that picture you know religiously number four one product you use then that you still use now i would say hmm what I, I don't know i like to try different products and if products don't work for me then i you know try another product so in the beginning it's, it was a lot about testing to see what works for me what doesn't what doesn't break me out what does and i don't think i'm you know, I, I went pretty simple in the very beginning. Early on, I heard a lot about the Laura Mercier tinted, moist, tinted Moisturizer, which works for me in the summertime when I'm slightly darker. I'm the color sand. But, you know, days like today, when it's, you know, almost spring, but you're just kind of leaving winter, um, and there's no sun out in Seattle, I can't use the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer because you have the color sand, and then the color... The lighter color from sand is bisque, but bisque is too light for me. So, I mean, during the summer, I will wear a tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier in the color sand. But right now, since, you know, it's still kind of winter time, I'm going to stick with um, a Bobbi Brown tinted moisturizer. Number five, e earliest makeup fail product you ne that never worked on you. Um, I can't really think of a pro- I mean, there's so many- I've tried so many different things. I would say, if we're talking about makeup, under eye concealer from e.l.f., you know, if I was starting out pretty early, it was a liquid consistency, um, under eye concealer, and it didn't do anything for my under eye. I don't know, I wasn't really that impressed with that. It's not a- it's not like a complete fail, like, it made me look different, it just didn't- didn't do anything to my dark circles so that would be the earliest makeup fail number six 
You can only use one brand for the rest of your life. What do you choose? That's so easy. Bobbi Brown. Like, I love my Laura Mercier and whatnot, but I love Bobbi Brown. I actually, when I went to San Francisco last September, and I vlogged about it, I'm uh, one of my friends' friend is uh, a representative for Bobbi Brown, and he was all telling me, you know, what you should try, what you shouldn't try, and... I swear by their tint and moisturizer. I love the consistency of it. Um, and I tried their BB cream too. It's also pretty good and it's been in my uh, past favorite video. But one thing that I have been tr using lately is their, and I'm probably going to mention this in my next favorite video, but I'm not going to talk about it too much. It's their um, eye cream. Their, the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. It feels like skin and it's really light. It doesn't have any, um, you know, anti-aging properties, but it ha it's a really good base for your under eye concealer. Why do I keep clapping? It's a good base for your under eye concealer and I really recommend that. And it smells good too. Number seven, what do you want to improve? Techniques, restrictions? Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm in no for way form like a, a makeup artist. I just do that to kind of get my face right. But um, I don't know. I like to, I don't know. I, I, maybe in the long term, I would like to learn how to use less makeup to make it you know, to achieve the same look. I mean, I don't use a ton of makeup. It's not like all caked on my face. But, um, I want to get into the mentality is less is more. Number eight, do you feel unconfident when not wearing makeup? You know, it's weird. Yes and no. Yes, when I, when I see people that I, that regularly see me, um, with makeup on, I can tend to get, you know, a little bit what's the word, unconfident, but a little bit. With the people that see me regularly with makeup, then it's like I have to consistently have the same kind of look, because if they see me without, they're probably gonna be like, ooh, are you okay, are you sick? But um, with people that i probably never gonna meet if I'm just gonna go out to the grocery store, whatever, um, I will wear it. I, when I don't wear it, it's like I don't really care because I'm not going to see you ever again in my life and whatnot. Um, but there are a few slug people that I, you know, if I see regularly, like my family, I don't care if I'm wearing makeup or not. A um, few friends, like Crystal, Elsie, don't care um, most of the time that I don't wear makeup. So, um, And most of the time, you know, okay, this is one thing. Most people who I who have approached me have, that I haven't that has not seen me without makeup, they're like, "Huh? What are you talking about?" It, and I, and I believe it's it's like a an internal type of thing where you just it's an all in your mind that you look terrible without makeup, and I guess it's just kind of like a comforting thing that I'm wearing something, so it, it's like normal. I guess case in point, most people who have told me, most people who have seen me without makeup prefer me without makeup than with. And I guess that's a testament to like, I don't know if they're just trying to be nice, but I mean, maybe it's the truth. We'll see. Uh, and the last question, a product that was hyped that failed you recently. Um, one moment, let me get it. Okay, I'm back. Um, when I left, I didn't realize that this is not a makeup item, this is a skincare, skincare item, but I don't give a fuck. Um, this is the Ole Lay Henriksen um, Lifting Eye Cream. It's I got this from Sephora. It's a blue bottle. The consistency looks like this. It's kind of like a gel texture. I don't know if I had this in a pri maybe in a haul video or whatnot, but I don't like this because it makes my under eye. You put this in your under eye. It, you, it makes it feel super sticky, and I guess maybe. The, a while after you apply this on your under eye, it just feels like any little, you know, if, if you're just kind of like, you know, it's like kind of touching your face or something, you shouldn't touch your face by the way, but um, it just feels like it's just like tugging on your, on your eye and it's stretching and it's, you know, causing it to prematurely stretch. Like I would wear this at night, I just don't like it. Um, mainly for the fact that it, I just feel like it's just tugging on my eye. Uh, really really harshly and it's really sticky so um this is a fail i know this isn't a makeup makeup item i don't care hope you enjoyed this uh i was gonna say haul this tag video um thank you daniel for tagging me and if you know you want to do this tag video please do it i i'm tagging you and specifically i want to tag 
um, Casey Couture, um, Run Jace Run. Um, let's go with Seitioko Artiero, um, because I watched her and I think she's subscribed to me, which is kind of cool. And yeah, I hope you guys, in oh, and Urban Icon 82, you gotta do this too. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys soon. Rate, comment, subscribe, and don't mind my messy background in my ba bedroom because oh, it's so messy. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Comes in a little like that. Uh, uh,